Welcome back friends of the homestead. We've got some damage to repair here. I stacked my firewood on the deck and I'll put two or three cords up on there and it was never designed for that. And it's a little bit too heavy and it's starting to uh, fail. <laughs> you can see it's starting to sag down here. So let's go grab our tools and see if we can't jack this up and repair it without having to tear this all apart. For this job, we're going to need a tool belt, a bottle jack, and a couple pieces of cribbing, a screw gun, an extra battery, the carpentry tools, four foot level, pry bar, and reciprocating saw. And I'm sure there are countless other things that I'm not thinking of. All right, let's head over there and see if we can't jack that up. And also, we're gonna have to replace this board broke out here. Let's jack that up and see how bad that is underneath. I think if we take the bottle jack, put this down here. With that level on there, you can kind of see how far that sagged and how far we need to come up. This is a three-ton jack. Hydraulic jacks truly are modern marvels. Can you imagine what the Romans could have done with a couple hundred of these? Interesting story, my cousin, uh, my dad's side of the family lives in Idaho. He, if I'm, I'm going off memory, but if I remember right, he had a neighbor a couple blocks away that, uh, well, hello, baby girl. Can I tell you? You better go put some clothes on. Okay. <laughs> Who, uh, was going to tear down this uh, little freestanding garage. Uh, and my first cousin said, uh, well, I'll take that. You know, just the type of resourceful guys like that. Uh, he went over there with his 16-foot uh, trailer or so, took some bottle jacks, lifted that whole garage up. This is a whole building, drove underneath of it, put some stringers across, um, carried it down the city street to his house, set it back up, and had a garage. <laughs> never forget that story. All right, so that's coming up nicely. Everything's starting to straighten out. I think this wood is good enough. Let's check and see if there's any rod in that, but I don't think so. I think there's good enough that we could put a bracket on the backside. Let's go up a little bit more. Well guys, that did the trick. That really leveled it up. Let's put a couple screws in here, suck this down, and we'll go underneath and see what we can do to secure that. I think I have a simple solution here. So here we are underneath, and you can see the problem. So this is the board that was sagging down. You can see it's not sitting on the pier. It's just uh, scabbed alongside and there's not really even any nails in there. It's no, no surprise that it slipped down there. So what we have right here is a little piece that's not doing too much. So we'll take the reciprocating saw and we'll cut that off flush. That's a two by, and then we'll add a four by material that picks up this, both these as well, and then transfers them down. It won't be completely on the pier, uh, but it'll pick up half of it anyway. And that'll keep that a lot stronger. So let's uh, cut that out of there. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this to you guys, but our it's kind of a cool little historical thing here. So on our covered, covered porch, our house is about 120 years old or so. It was a hand-hewn log home. And some of the exposed beams you can see here, you can still see the ax marks in, in them. Here, here, where someone stood up there and hand-hewed. That was where the ax would, chuck in, would cut in and then they would jug it off with an offset ax and all these posts in here, you can still see the original ax marks in them. 
uh, from the uh, guys that originally built it. It's kind of cool. One of the handiest tools a guy can have is a reciprocating saw. I'd say after a skill saw, this would probably be your one you want to go to. Your blades basically break down into two categories. Of course, they're specialty blades and such, but you've got your wood blades, which have your big coarse teeth, and then you have your uh, bimetal blades, uh, which have your fine teeth for cutting aluminum and metal and such. So typically for your wood, if it's just demo stuff, you're best off for a big aggressive blade like that. Always bend your nails over on all your boards so no one steps on it. Looking good so far. So if we take a two by six, we've got enough meat on that that we can set that down. That'll come over here and pick this up. That way all that weight is pushing on the pier pad and not just hanging out there in open space. Special shout out to Matt, one of my subscribers who uh, runs Undercover Fab Works, sent us this awesome Jeep Wrangler Rubicon TJ skid plate made out of solid, well, a plate, solid, <laughs> welded aluminum. It is gorgeous. The steel skid plates, they hang down really low. So you pick up a couple inches of clearance and you shed a whole bunch of weight because those metal ones are really, uh, really, really heavy. That is a beautiful made item, Matt. If you don't know, Jack and I, my dad, my parents gave Jack their Jeep Rubicon uh, that I built from a collision way back in the day, years ago, that they kind of used to tow behind their motorhome, and we've been fixing it up. So that's much appreciated. We'll, uh, we'll do a video on that when Jack and I put that on. It's a pretty simple job, and what a nice upgrade. So thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that. Let's see. I think we should have... Oh, there we go. Two by six. Two by six at seven. That's all we need. I jacked this up a little bit higher than I need so I can fit that in. Let's see if we sit that in there. That'll give it a good inch to sit on. Actually give us something to nail our lattice to as well. And let's drop that jack and see if it sits down on it. There, that sat down on there good and tight. Now we can lag that into the post. Oh, actually, guys, I misspoke. That's an eight-ton jack, not a, not a three-ton. It's looking pretty shabby here, too. Let's replace this one as well. Need to replace these treads as well. Looking a little raggedy. Whole thing seen better days. So you guys might notice I'm working with a new hammer today. This was also sent by one of my subscribers, Boss Hammer Company. I might do a video on this. I want to use it for a while before I talk about it, but it is, uh, it's quite a clever hammer with some um, very ingenious designs. So that uh, might be coming up soon. We'll take this old riser down to the shop and cut a new one. This appears to be a two by eight. Yeah, two by eight by 82 inches. Might have to make one of these. I don't think I have a two by eight, but I should have two by 10. I've got some big ones here, but 
That's all right. We'll just uh, rip that down to what we need here. There's some checking on the end here. Checking is cracks in the wood. Fun fact, you know why the old sawmills, why they kept all of their logs in uh, mill ponds in the water? Uh, it prevents the checking. Uh, they won't check on that, so they could keep them in there pretty much indefinitely. When they were ready to saw, they, were, they weren't all dried out and splitting. The old riser was seven and a quarter. When you see seven and a quarter, it originally would have been seven and a half, uh, but it, just over the time it dries and shrinks and you lose that quarter inch. I've really enjoyed this cordless table saw. I've had this for probably, I don't know, four or five, maybe five years. And in that whole time, I have used my big 240 table saw uh, one time. And that, the only reason I did it was because, uh, I'm gonna go seven and a quarter, uh, was because I had to rip, rip all that, that ton, that whole lumber package for the chicken coop. Do you know what I, do you know what I have for you? Yeah. This is your new trike. Oh, whoa, can I ride it? <laughs> of course you can ride it. Hooray! <laughs> hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, go put some clothes on and come out and I'll take you in the shop and we can go for a ride. And I'll ride my scooter, okay? <laughs> That's more important than this deck, isn't it? Go get your clothes on and I'll take you for a ride. What's going on is that I'm riding my scooter and you're riding your new trike. It's in the quad. And you want to know what else? I got your favorite color. Blue. Blue. Do you know how to ride? Okay, well, let me teach you. Can you sit on the seat? <laughs> Put both hands on the steering wheel, push on the pedals, and go. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. You, oh, you catch me, my feet are so big I hit the brake. Are you stuck in the sawdust? Here. Go pedal, pedal. And turn, keep pedaling, push with your feet, and you can go anywhere you want to go, and you can go fast. I can. can you catch me? I Scooters are fun. Back to the coal mine. Well, that's a whole lot better. I thought about replacing everything, but the more I looked at it, it's still got a lot of years in it. It's all under a covered porch. It doesn't get a whole lot of abuse from the, uh, from the elements, and uh, it seems to be fine. That's part of the charm of the 120-year-old house, right? 
you just don't ca you, you can't get too worried about things because it's just uh, going to be the way it is. Crooked is crooked. It's so funny that in our living room, it's our house is so crooked that uh, <laughs> all the sweet loaf's balls that she plays with, like marbles or small balls, all end up in the uh, what would it be it'd be the the southwestern corner of the house. <laughs> you can drop a ball in the kitchen, and it'll just meander down, and they all end up in the corner there underneath the cabinet. It's kind of funny. So. Thanks for watching. It's about all we have time for today. Uh, we are painting this week. Uh, actually, Thursday, we'll be painting the house, all the trim and all that. that that'll be done. Tomorrow, I think we'll do the lattice. Um, I want to share with you guys, maybe in tomorrow's video, kind of, uh, it's about time we did an update on the EDC video. My EDC has changed a lot with the change of, uh, well, just the, the way things are in our, in our country. Um, a little more capability, a few more options than just a normal one. And I want to share that with you, uh, some ideas that uh, might help. It's always fun to do EDC videos. They uh, get ideas from one another. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you guys on the next video.